Today, I'm going to give you a little tip which can be extremely helpful while following along with a video tutorial. This tip allows us to play a video in the picture in picture mode so that it overlays whatever we're working on, but it also allows us to rewind, fast forward, and even pause the video while only using hotkeys. And now while this might sound like an unhelpful tip to some, and if you have multiple monitors then I would certainly agree with you, but based on the comments that I've received over the years it seems like it's pretty common for people to follow my tutorials this way and I feel that what I've discovered can actually make their lives a lot easier. Now to get right into it let me catch you up with what issue this actually solves. Imagine that you're watching a tutorial in the picture in picture mode. The picture in picture mode is basically where you're able to play a video and have that overlay whatever you're actually working on. So it'll basically always be the topmost window and always displayed no matter what other program that you have open and whatever you put it over top of. This can be extremely useful and allows you to watch a video while also not having to look off that same monitor. But the picture in picture mode is missing a lot of standard features that you have while you actually use a normal video player. Well, it's pretty much missing literally every single feature except for the pause button that we can see right here. So when we're in the picture in picture mode, there is no way to rewind or fast forward. In this picture right here, the only thing that you can actually do is press the play button or pause it. So the issue that we're gonna solve with this video is being able to fast forward, rewind, and even pause the picture in picture player with only using hotkeys. So if we want to pause or unpause the video, we won't have to drag our mouse up to the screen and then do it that way. Instead, we can just use some keys on our keyboard. So in the description of this video, I included a link to this Chrome extension, which is called Whippy. Now, as soon as you're seeing this, you might be thinking, well, I don't use the Chrome browser. And if you don't use the Chrome browser, that might be okay. Depending on what browser you're using, you might be able to use the Chrome extension in that same browser as well. Alternatively, if you're using a pretty popular browser, then there might already be an extension created for this exact same thing. Anyways, now that we are actually on the extensions page, another thing that I want to mention and be very clear about is that I cannot 100% confirm if this extension is safe to use. Now, it is actually open source, and so we can actually view all of the code inside of the GitHub repository right here, but I want to be honest by saying that I don't feel like I'm qualified to look through a GitHub repository and confirm if an extension is 100% safe or not. So, if you do use this extension, please understand that I have informed you that I'm not 100% sure if this is actually safe or not. Now, with that being said, I use a ton of different Chrome extensions in my browser, and I would include that same disclaimer for pretty much all of them, unless they are very, very mainstream. So that's not to say that Whippy is unsafe to use or anything like that. And especially considering that we are actually able to view and directly build the extension for ourselves because they have it all publicly displayed in a GitHub repository, I just haven't gone through the work and I don't feel qualified to tell you that this is actually 100% safe to use. With that disclaimer out the way, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and add this to your Chrome browser. Obviously, my button right here says remove from Chrome because I already have it installed, but you're going to want to click whatever it says here, like add to Chrome. Once you've installed the extension to Chrome, you might see the extension right here. Otherwise, you might have to click on the extensions button and you'll find the same icon inside of there. Anyways, go ahead and click on the icon and you should see this button which says shortcut settings. Go ahead and click on that. And that should take you to this specific Chrome extension page, which allows us to customize the keyboard shortcuts for our specific Chrome extensions. Depending on how many Chrome extensions you actually have installed, you may have to scroll down to actually find the specific one that we're looking for. And because these are sorted alphabetically and I have a bunch of them, Whippy appears all the way at the bottom for me. Now, once you've found the keyboard shortcuts, you're going to want to customize the play slash pause, the skip the video minus 10 seconds, and the skip the video to 10 sec key bind as well. And you can see exactly what keys I binded these actions to. So for play slash pause, by default, whenever you're interacting with any video player, usually the play slash pause button is just the space bar. So what I did is set it to control plus space. And keep in mind that a lot of my tutorials are scripting focused. So I was very careful about what keys I actually bind these actions to because I don't want to accidentally activate something or perform an action in another program that I'm currently working on while I'm following a tutorial. So the keys that I felt worked best for me for play slash pause is just control and the space bar. That key bind seems to be a pretty uncommon one and I really haven't seen it used in any other program. So that's been working for me. Then when it comes to rewinding, so going back 10 seconds, I set this to alt and the left arrow key. I would have preferred to set all of these keybinds with control, so it would have been control and space and control and left arrow and control and right arrow, but because of the program that I'm working with while I'm watching these tutorials, control and the left arrow key was not a suitable keybind, so that's why I went with alt and the left arrow. And then to fast forward the video 10 seconds, I went with alt and the right arrow key. Now those things are all very simple, but the next thing that you need to make sure that you do is on the second column to the right of where you set the keybind, you want to make sure that you set this box to be global and not just in Chrome. 
If this box is set to in Chrome, then these hotkeys will only be listened to inside of Chrome. But if you set that to global, then you don't actually have to be inside of Chrome while performing those hotkeys. So Chrome will still pick up on those hotkeys and perform the actions, even if you're using those hotkeys while you're working inside of Roblox Studio, for example. And then once you have the hotkey set up and all of these set to global, then you should be good with customizing this extension and we can actually get around to watching a video in the picture in picture mode. Now, just in case you're unfamiliar with how to activate the picture in picture mode, what you do is you go to the YouTube video that you're wanting to watch, or maybe hopefully any of the websites that you're wanting to watch a video on, you're going to right click inside of the video. And if you're doing this on YouTube and you right click for the first time, you may only see a few options here. But once you have this little menu pop up from your first right click, you can right click once again, and it should pop up with this kind of standard Chrome right click menu. And this actually gives us a couple of different options and the option that we're going to want to select is the picture in picture mode and then once we click that we can see that the video kind of disappears from our main screen and then just becomes a little square at the bottom right hand corner of our screen so now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and minimize my chrome browser and now we can see that i'm still inside of roblox studio and i'm able to move this video around to wherever suits me best so if i want it at the bottom right or the top right or the bottom left it really doesn't matter i can do whatever i want of course i can also resize it as we normally would so yeah we have our standard picture in picture setup now of course the video is currently paused let me go ahead and use my hotkey to unpause it so i'm going to go ahead and hit the control and spacebar and once i do that we can see that the video is now playing at the bottom right of course if i hit the control and spacebar once again that pauses the video and then now i'm going to have the video playing if i hit alt and the left arrow key we can see that that does reverse 10 seconds and if i hit the alt and right arrow key we can see that that fast forwards 10 seconds as well and you know what now that i'm thinking about this even though I have a second monitor, this can still be pretty useful. I didn't really think about it before, but by default, I don't think there's a way to actually rewind or fast forward a video using hotkeys. Although there may be, and I'm just unaware of it, I know that at least on my mouse, I have a media key binded to it, so I can literally just click my mouse button to pause and unpause the media, and that pretty much works with like every program and every video player and everything else like that, but I've never come across that functionality implemented for fast forwarding and rewinding. Although, like I said, it might actually exist, I just haven't looked into it but yeah at the worst case scenario this should hopefully be helpful to people who watch picture in picture mode and at best it might also be helpful to people who watch on second monitors or different things like that but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's gonna be it for this video if it did help you out and you did enjoy it all make sure you smash the like button and i hope that you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next video